So we have DeClowney here that needs some help with World 5 progression. So far, they need a lot of help on cooking, but they also just need help all around. So let's go ahead and take a look. So far, we have a 217 Bubo, a 108 Blood Berserker, a 151 Siege Breaker, a 144 Divine Knight. We also have a 145 Elemental Sorcerer, 145 Beastmaster, 150 V-Man, Voidwalker, 167 Divine Knight, another 151 Elemental Sorcerer, and another Beginner. So I would suggest for you, if you could, either go another Blood Berserker with that Beginner class. Definitely strongly suggest for it. So what I would say is uh, get your Beginner. Uh, to choose a class. I know you're, I, I'm taking a guess you're waiting for a new class to come out or a new, a new update to come out that changes a class to make it more worth. But I mean, I would probably suggest it as a Blood Berserker just so you can get some more ladles happening. And let's just take a quick look at equipment here as always. Okay. So you're running like full Amrock. So I'd suggest to get rest of characters into Amarok tier five, just as a start, just for the characters that don't have the Amarok gear, and then Dementia to to void. And then work on Cheezor. And I mean if you could skip some Cheezor pieces if you end up making troll right away, but that's ultimately going to be the the choice of armor path for you, uh, as well as you didn't have any serrated rex rings for all your characters, either serrated rex rings or tenacity rings if you can get there, and then eventually going to emperor opals. Those are definitely going to be a good next choice. So far, it's not looking too bad. We're gonna. I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to say iron tools. I'm actually going to suggest you get into dementia tools, dementia or plat tools. Your choice. Make sure to take your get your worship up because you want to start you want to start blasting some huge worship. Getting your worship up so then you get more souls because I also saw that your prayers weren't very leveled up. Like there's some big ones. We'll actually specifically go over prayers for you, especially to help with cooking. So get your worship up, Gorefest. Gorefest, balloons, level up worship. Just like that. And then we take a look here, and I saw if we go to prayers here specifically, this is why I want you to get your stuff up, go into worship, prayers. So your biggest one to help out with cooking or anything that you're trying to do is skill dimwit. You want to make sure to max out skill dimwit as soon as possible. This is a very, very, very good one for anything for efficiency-wise. This is insane for your 3d prints it's also really good to keep your characters levels low enough so then your maestro can be a higher level than them in skilling not to mention it's also really good for cooking because it increases your ladle count which is massive royal samplers level seven i would suggest getting a royal sampler to at least level 11 unless you can get 90 percent printer sample if you can get 90 percent printer sample you're doing pretty good or if already 90% printer sample. Okay, so those are the two major ones that you really need to focus on. How's your skills looking anyways? So you got a lot of skills to work on, which I mean, you're at this point in time, you have quite a bit of skill XP, you should be able to level all these characters up and get them going. You have absolutely no chopping on this character whatsoever. You have 27 on worship, worship, worship. Yeah, yeah, you got, a, you got a lot of love you need to give your other characters. Seems like you hard farmed one character, which is fine. How's your talents looking? Are you at the Bubo setup? So you're not quite at max Bubo capacity yet. Get your auspicious aura, so you're going to be wanting to work. I would say your next one for your Bubo is Bubo specifically. Work on getting talents. To 200. This is this is where Bo this is where Bubo really starts popping off. Is level 200. It's mostly because level 200 tentacle eye because then it turns to three seconds, and then you can start working on your cranium cooking. How's your stamps? Oh. Oh. 
Well, how far into World 5 are you? You're at Stilt Mulls. Okay, so, so, you're, so you're currently at Stilt Mulls farming Hamters? All right, all right. So that's not too bad. Okay. So since you're trying to prog, you want to take the time and unlocking the rest of your stamps. World 1 to World 4. Absolutely want to get that done as soon as possible. And you want an average stamp level. Or sorry, baseline stamp level. Let's let's give you a nice easy one to hit. 4,000. 4,000. Is what you're going to want. And I would probably, if anything, you got tons of easy stuff to level. But actually for you, where you're at, at this part time, I would actually tell you to prioritize skilling over combat. Because although you may not be at the end, it's super easy, easy to hit and you want to work on your skilling. So basically you're going to be working on your 3D prints at this point. Because you are in World 5. Holy, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. At least you have Diamond Chef unlocked. That's pretty good. And you have Kill Per Kill. You got Mr. Massacre. Nice, looking good. Okay. For, for Alchemy. Average bubble level. 70. And focus on getting big bubbles to, I believe it's level 140, which it will give you with your star signs and everything, 300% uh, multi-resource. So for instance, as I'm talking about, I'm talking about like Wyoming blood, uh, bug squared. You also want sploosh sploosh. Sploosh sploosh will be huge for you. And then also the last one is Malto Logo, which is also going to be huge. So you definitely want to focus on those to try to focus on getting 300% multi-resource. This will juice out your prints crazily. Not to mention getting 90% will also juice you out super, super good as well. How's your vials looking? Your vials are definitely looking good. You get your viral vials. They're huge. You'll love to see it. Okay. So you're, 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 you're pretty early into world five as i can see here so i mean just keep on focusing on locking other bubbles i think your major bubbles that you want to unlock right now is sailor at heart so if you can hard farm to sailor at heart this is going to help you greatly sailor at heart green cauldron hard focus put all your characters in there because this is going to help your sailing. This is going to help your AFK gains equal into sailing. This is going to help you push sailing for artifacts. This is going to help you juice yourself out, splitting up your hamters to, to between all your AFK characters. Take your characters off sigils if they're not on. If you don't have, you want to work on getting up to 170 boosts across all cauldrons. It's going to make your life nice and easy. And you can do this with cranium cooking. You're so close at the point where you can actually start cranium cooking. Uh, consistently that you want to main that you want to get that as soon as possible so if we go here to your boobo because this is your main this looks like your main also it seems like if i'm correct here it probably seems like your constellations aren't fully unlocked so you're missing some here you're missing some here i mean you just have to click you, you literally just have to click that you have a free five points there if we go to world two you're missing some there. Reach uh, star on as a mage character. They could easily do that with time candy. Clear Coliseum. Easy one. Defeat Ephon as a beginner class. Easy one. Click on that one. You already have that one done. All you have to do is click on it. So. Complete your star sign. Your star signs. I would say world one to world four. This way, if you complete all your star signs, world one to world four, you can get stuff such as, I mean, you already have Hydron, but you're missing some of your biggest ones. For instance, your AFK gain ones, your, for your skilling and for your fighting, not to mention your total damage percent, which is ultimately going to help you push world five and maybe potentially even proc multi-kill. So that's definitely something that you want. So definitely complete your star signs from world one to five, get that going. If we head into divinity here, let's see where you're at. So we're at six, five, ten, eight. Okay. So, and how are we doing? How are we doing for? You're almost at goat. Now, if we take a look, is it? Are you? Are you doing that grind right now? Thirty-three, one, one, twenty-seven, twenty-three. Okay. Get everyone in divinity. 
and unlock Goat God. And get Divinity level 40. And put them in lab with Goat God. To get 70, level 75 lab on every character. This is super important for you to get up to that point. Obviously, you're grinding it right now, but just you're on the right track if you're already doing this. This right here is your biggest grind out of Eidolon, basically, at this point in time. This is going to be... Th this is everybody's biggest grind when they're just starting out on a brand new couch. This is, this is completely terrible. I, it's a grind that I hate. It's a grind that literally everybody hates, but it is what it is because it's ultimately way too strong for you to not to do it. It's too many good lab buffs for you to just, just decide to say no. Let's take a look at sailing here. Okay, so you got, you got movement speed and loot value. That's so far pretty good. Islands, you're running. Okay. Factory Tusk, that's good. Having that Ancient Bonus, this is huge for Artifact Chance. This is massive. I think the next one would be Demon Genie. You want to get that as soon as possible. You do have the Ancient one as well. That's also very huge. Emerald Relic is actually pretty goaded. If you get Emerald Relic to definitely hard, hard, hard farm it, it's definitely going to be ideal. Same with Amberite is a good one. Trangulon is a really good one. Even Ash and Urn is good just to push off that other stuff. So if you, if you farm Trangolon, Amberite, Emerald Relic, Ash and Vern, and Genie Lamp, you're going to be looking at a really good spot. Obviously, you know, uh, Ruble Cubes and extra damage and extra coins is nice, but you're looking to push other stuff as hard as you can. And then you'll get to a point as Frost Relic, which is super huge. Let's take a quick look at Post Office here. So we have Alchemy for Post Office. You want to work on getting your skilling boxes done. Max out characters respective uh, post office boxes, which you could do this with uh, with the Divine Knight farming out some uh, crystal spawn chance, or if you don't have the crystal spawn chance, you could always you can always do it for uh, on on V Man as well. Uh, for instance, if you're using a barb fishing and mining box, if you're if you're running a mage chopping box. Chomping box, chopping box, et cetera, et cetera, because you want to start juicing your prince as soon as possible. Obviously, right now, what you're doing with your boobo, I see exactly what you're doing. You're doing potion package, getting your 30, 30 seconds of cranium cooking, and then you're doing your 10% faster cooldowns, which is good. Just make sure that you keep on figuring out that you still need to get those chopping boxes, because if I take a quick look here, take a look at your 3D prints, your prints aren't actually half bad. I mean, you're slacking on these other prints here, but I mean, that's because you need to level up your other guys because you haven't done much love with them. But I would strongly suggest to take the time, get your, get your prints ready to start it because the sooner you get started on the prints, the easier it's going to be for you. So the sooner you get that done, the better. So definitely start working on that. And I mean, if you take the time and just like look at all your alchemy bubbles, see what they need for the 3D prints, and then, and then you take it and you get it done. But I mean, at least you have a bloach print, you have a kraken print, you're looking good. You got at least some decent efficiency there. How's your, how's your refinery looking? 13, 6, 3, 2, 1. Still not at Void Salts yet, but you're getting there. You're almost there. You're almost at max talent books. That's fantastic. The real question is, how close are you to your achievements? Uh, is there any way I could check achievements? I don't think so. Yes, there is. Okay, so... What should be World 3? How far are you from your checkout achievement? Nope, that's not that one. Where's the checkout achievement? There it is. Hard farm this. So whenever you do your Kilroy, 223 out of 100. So whenever you do your Kilroy, Kilroy, once a week, focus checkouts. And just, and just spam checkouts. Just trying to bonus up anything you can. Don't do the... Do you have the Atom Arm? Do you have the Atom? Or, sorry, Automation Arm bonus? I don't think you do. You do have it. If you have that on, take that off. You need to focus on getting that plus five max level talents. You want to focus on, because you're going to eventually get Ancient Fury soon, and once you get Ancient Fury, you're going to want to make sure that you have Ancient, or Normal Fury, make sure that Normal Fury is ready to bring you over 200 plus, so then you can get that going, and then you can get 200 talents, and then your, your Bubo is going to be insane. You're almost at Snowballing God tier Bubo, but you're just a little bit of ways away.
Keep on hard farming your Poisonic Elder, Crack a Cosplayer, Party Starters, Storm Callers, and Frozen Malone. So those are going to be, and if you can get Voidinator as soon as possible, that's going to be really good because all those are going to be able to push worship. And if I take a guess, just looking at that, your worship are probably not the greatest. 50, 50, 40, 40, 40. Yeah, so keep on leveling up your Poisonic Elder, get that going so you have enough damage to roll that through. And if we take a look at your worship here, yeah, you see, yeah, your skulls are taking a huge, huge hit because of that. So definitely work on your skulls and the prayers that I was talking about before. How's your trapping looking? So I would suggest taking, since you have level 41, that means you can use nature traps. Uh, trap on Maestro. Use Transfusion for huge XP to level everyone up. Higher trapping level, the better. All right, so this is more than enough to get you started. So to Clowny, this is what I want you to do. Get your beginner to choose a class. I would personally suggest Blood Berserker, but the choice is ultimately yours. Get the rest into Amrock Tier 5, the ones they don't have, and then Dementia, Void, and then eventually Cheezor, and then you're eventually go to into Troll. So Ray Rex Rings, Tenacity Rings, and then eventually get into Emperor Opals, but that's until you have Max Flurbo Shop, of course. Don't attempt to get those until your Flurbo is maxed. They're passives. I'm going to suggest to get either Dementia or Platinum Tools on all your characters as soon as possible. And you worship Gorefest balloons to level up the worship. We already know how to do that. Max skill dimwit to help out with your cooking. Royal sampler to 11, or if you already have a 90% printer sampler, that's good too. We will work on getting talents to level 200 and unlocking the rest of your stamps, world 1 to world 4. Base light stamps, I want you to get to level 4,000. But also go over skilling over combat. Alchemy average bubble level, you want to get it to 70. Focus on getting big bubbles to about approximately level 140, which will bring you up to a 300% multi-resource, including star signs, stamps, etc. Uh, by, by, the, by the multi-resource, I'm talking about Wyoming Blood, uh, Wyoming Blood, Bug 2, Sploosh Sploosh, Multi-Logo. You're going to be hard farming your green cauldron in order to get to Sailor Heart, so you can start hard focus sailing for artifacts so you can get a lot of chests a day. And then you want to boost your cauldrons all to 170. Don't even talk about sigils until you get to that point. You want to complete your star signs from world, world 1 to world 4. And getting everyone in Divinity, unlock Goat God, and get Divinity 40. Put them in lab with Goat God to get everybody lab 75 on every single character. Max out characters respect to post office. Example, Barb for fishing, mining box, mage, chopping box. Kilroy, you're going to be focusing on your checkout, so you get a checkout takeout achievement done. And then you want to use your traps on Maestro, and you want to use Trident's Fusion for huge XP to level everyone up. Higher trapping level, the better the person. And finally, for cooking, just to give you a little bit, a little bit of extra, work on getting a level 11 in plates. That should be your first priority in order for you to start ramping up. So just focus on getting 11 11 plates as soon as possible. And then, of course, unlock those whenever it hits. See, you could easily do potato pea pastry because it's only 21 minutes. This one is going to an hour and 21 minutes, so you could take the time, use some ladles, start unlocking these ones, get them to a level 11 as soon as possible. So you're just going to be, with cooking, focus on getting everything to level 11 for Diamond Chef. And that's what I want you to work on, dude. Good luck, man, and I can't wait to hear your progression in about two weeks.